We are planning, uh, this is our base case, to be able to produce at Lonza, together with Moderna, 400 million doses a year. 400 doses from the production lines from, from Lonza, and also one additional 100 million doses from Moderna's lines. So all in all, Moderna and Lonza should be able to produce annually 500 million doses. This is our base plan. I mean, again, I, I, I don't want to sound churlish because it's a stunning achievement to roll out that huge number of vaccines as well. But the world is waiting. There are, what, six, seven billion people in the world as well to get out a meaningful vaccination program as well. And I know there are other partners out there as well. But is it possible that even this huge number can be improved upon, uh, given uh, how important this is for the world, society, the economy? No, we can only produce more than 500 million doses a year if we install additional manufacturing lines. So this is clear. We need additional investments in the installations if we want to produce more than 500 million in the future. Albert, can I, can I ask you, is there any difference in the way that you will produce this vaccine compared to other medications that you manufacture? But we've talked a lot about the issue of the temperature that it must be kept at. But because it's a slightly different construction than we've seen in other vaccines, does it raise any particular challenges or issues for you? Well, there are at least a few issues. First of all, the speed. We started only 10, 11 months ago, and now we are producing the first commercial batches of the drug substance in North America, and we are planning the first uh, batch of uh, commercial volume in one or two weeks in Switzerland. So the speed has been a challenge. Second, second challenge is to find the people. For each manufacturing line, you need 60 to 70 educated persons. We installed four uh, in the manufacturing lines, so we have to identify and to train these people. Then linked to the speed, you need to have access to the equipment, to install the equipment, and then to test your manufacturing facilities. So big challenges reserved, almost reserved, within less than one year. So this is fantastic. Regarding the stability and the and the shipping. I mean, the, the vaccine of Moderna is, is, is an excellent example. It can be frozen at minus 20 degrees for six months and it is stable. Then you can be, you can put it during 30 days at, in a refrigerator between two and eight degrees Celsius. And once the vaccine is at room temperature, it is stable only for six hours. What does it mean? It means those are standards conditions in the pharmaceutical industries. So I don't see many problems for the distribution, for the shipping, and for the storage of the Moderna's vaccine. And you talked about the speed. In terms of then accessing the equipment that you need and the raw materials, how complicated has that process been, given how rapidly you've had to work? It was difficult. I wouldn't say it was too complicated, but very difficult to have access to all the equipment you need to install these production lines. And it has been done within a few months. So this is what is remarkable in this process here. Albert, if I can ask you about some of the other conversations you may have been having, and I think it's probably not a huge leap to assume you've been part of conversations about how willing the consumer will be to taking the vaccine. You know, what we've been hearing out there, very mixed views, some who are well and truly ready for the vaccine, given how enduring this crisis has been, others who've uh, already contracted COVID-19 who may not think that they need it, and some who are concerned about taking any sort of vaccine. Uh, what do you make of some of those hurdles that uh, we still have to cross, particularly even here in Europe? I suspect, and this is a pure hypothesis, I suspect both governments and producers of vaccine need to prepare a communication campaign to make sure that the people understand the necessity to be, to be vaccinated and also to understand that the vaccine are safe. This is very important. And I don't think that without a good, clear, transparent communication campaign, we will be able to achieve the 80, 90% vaccination level.